you see that? It works for these guys. Oh. What's up guys? So my mom just called me out to the garden and said that she thinks there's some caterpillars on a kale plant. And them being on the kale plant obviously means that they're not monarchs. So we're gonna go check that out. Okay, so we haven't found any monarch caterpillars, but we finally got a cabbage white caterpillar. I've been checking every thistle for one of these and haven't been able to find one, but they decided to come to our oak, our kale. Okay. Well, you're gonna come inside with us, buddy. <laughs> okay, so the specimens that we found today are um, uh, the cabbage white butterfly caterpillar. They're so, so common in the US and the UK, I think. Most commonly when you see a lot of like little white butterflies around your yard, these are them. And because I've seen the butterflies all around the yard and I've seen very few monarchs this year, um, I've been looking for these caterpillars high and low. So this is really exciting. So we've got them set up in our little butterfly pop-up net. But before I could even get them set up and the camera rolling, they've already made quite a mess in here so so we ended up actually finding um a lot of caterpillars and we found most of these guys on the kale plant but we found some of them also on the broccoli so um i put some pieces of broccoli that we had and look they're eating it look they're so cute well at least we know they like the fresh broccoli then right yeah Cute they are. Well, these guys are all like the same size, so whatever that means. <laughs> and we got the big guys hanging out under here. I should probably change uh, the paper towels because these guys are poopy. They're poopy. I've never raised cabbage white butterflies, but they're really cute, so I'm really excited. <laughs> Just woke me up to tell me that our friends had started making chrysalises. Oh, we haven't we haven't even been chilling that long. What are you guys in a rush for? Okay, so I don't know what's going on with these little caterpillars. This guy, what is that next to him? And this guy, it's and going this, on too. And this one here. And this one. I hope it's not some kind of a parasite. At first I thought, no, there's no way. At first I thought maybe it was just because like the monarchs, when they're small, they'll shed a layer of their skin to get to the next size up. So I'm wondering if that's what's going on, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, um, I don't know what that is. Does anyone know what that is? Cause I could have sworn it was two caterpillars earlier. Like this one. This looks like another caterpillar. I don't know. But I do know this broccoli is starting to stink. So we are going to clean this out. <laughs> Try and carefully do this. Um, and also, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take these out actually, because these guys decided to form their chrysalises like right, why they're there, I don't understand. I don't understand. Monarch chrysalises like 99% of the time always hang. So why they're like that, I don't know, but uh, 
I guess I'll move this side first because the chrysalises are on this side. Hey, you stupid caterpillar, leave that chrysalis alone. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Got this out. Oh, great, yeah. The chrysalises are on it. Move to the paper towel. And lovely. Okay. Well, I guess I can just kind of like rip that piece off. Yeah, um, woo! Monarchs don't really smell this bad. I think it has something to do with the broccoli. Okay. Okay. Move all the little guys onto one. I'll just take all the leaves anyway, just in case. Cause these guys blend in. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Oh! Do you guys see that? Come here, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. Come here. Don't know what to do. Okay, come here, buddy. Get up on this. I really don't like touching the caterpillars. They kind of freak me out low key. Okay, we got him. Now I'm pretty sure I can throw this away. Oh, just kidding. Always make sure to check. Okay, now I can throw this away. Put the new paper towel in. Now I'll put all the chrysalises over in this corner together. Now we gotta get our little friends. Put you right back in there. Oh! couple of years on there. Oh wow. Oh wow. There's a lot of guys on here. Okay. There you go. And these guys blend in so much that I'm like so nervous handling this because I don't want to squish him. Got these guys in all sizes. Even though it's hard to see them. Yeah, hi. And we've got all these guys up here. Now, because I don't know what's going on with those little guys and that little fuzzy thing next to them, I'm gonna reiterate that it is like almost always the best if you can find butterfly eggs um, because when they're caterpillars, they're already exposed to other bugs and, and illnesses out in the wild. So even though these came off my kale plant literally 10 steps away from my front door, I, I don't know. They still, they still could be infected, which could end up infecting your whole group. So just always be careful with that. I had grabbed some eggs and um, put the leaf that they were on on the complete other side of the enclosure, but it was either this leaf that the eggs were on or this one. So another tip, if you have eggs and caterpillars, keep them separate because they don't do it intentionally, but they ate the leaf and the eggs are now gone. Slide, so I found the eggs. They're on here. That's what the eggs look like. That little orange spot and then this little yellow spot. I think they're both eggs. I know that one is for sure. I just found a tiniest caterpillar. It must have been an egg that hatched. Oh yeah, I can see his egg. A little. I think his egg is on my finger. I think that's the egg he just came out of. Look at how tiny. Yep, he's definitely a caterpillar. He's moving, so. Here you go, buddy. Be careful in there, it's a big world. So, we're all clean and good for now, I think. I just don't know what the hell. Yeah, see these guys are like hanging. That does not look good. That does not look super good. I'm gonna see if I can get him down because I don't like that. Come here, you're so small. Come here. I got the caterpillars and these were the weird little things next to them. 
and one of these guys had, it looked kind of like a small caterpillar next to it, but I, I really don't think it was. I think it was whatever this is. That's not good. So. Maybe we should take those out. So yeah, I think I'm gonna separate these guys for now. Good plan. There's a possibility it's just them shedding their skin. Because they're all like the same size and I know monarchs will do that. I think when they enter like the third instar or something, they'll shed their skin completely. So it might've just been that. I don't know. We'll see. So these guys are separate with their broccoli. They're good, they're good. Okay, so it's been a few hours, and we've got a few more of the little caterpillars doing that thing. See? Like, it's so weird. So I'm thinking, and this guy's doing it too. So because they're all the same size, I'm going to say it's safe to assume, like, what is that position, though? Like, I don't know. I'm going to assume that it's them shedding a layer of their skin. I've still got these guys separate and I've got it open so they get some extra air. But yeah, I'm just not gonna like, I'm not gonna take these guys out too because it might be totally normal. So that's that. <laughs> so it's day three. Um, two more chrysalises, chrysalides. And these guys are hung like normal. So that's good. But then, so the egg is gone, right? Let me make sure. Okay, so we got a caterpillar on that side. The egg is gone, and we've got, I don't even know if I can zoom in on it. We've got this guy. Yeah, no, it looks like it. Yeah, so that's our, um, where did he go? Oh, no, okay. He's right there. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave him in there. At first, me and mom were concerned that he might be not it, but I think he's, I think he's the little guy that was in the egg, so yay. And the little guys that we separated, um, I put them back in with everybody last night since um, the other guys also made these. Um, so yeah, everybody's back in here with some fresh broccoli, but they're still, eating the really old pieces, so. Yeah. That's day three. Okay, so day five, because not much happened yesterday. Got the chrysalises here. Got two more over here. Still got the four down here. Another one here. No one's, uh, no one's making them on this side. That guy looks like he's probably about to form a chrysalis. I noticed these guys like take a really long time to make a chrysalis, but also don't, I don't know. With the monarchs, it's like a lot more of a transformation where these guys go from a caterpillar sitting there to slowly becoming a chrysalis. I don't know. I don't, I'll have to try and catch it. It's so hard to see through this because it's like humid. Um, okay, so we've got these two guys. Um, got oh, we got one guy on there, another guy on there. Oh, got a little guy there. <laughs> oh, got a got a very little guy over there. Uh oh, looks like we got a dead little guy over there. Uh oh, let's check that out. Oh no. That's not, that's not good. Um, I, I think it's a little caterpillar, but he's definitely dead, so. But I wanna say that this guy is smaller than the other ones that looked like they weren't doing well. I don't know. Weird. Now that I'm looking at him, that little guy doesn't look like he's doing too well. Oh, that guy's doing just fine, though. Hmm. I'm gonna leave him for now. And check on him in a little bit. Uh, I use the chrysalis up close in case I forget. Oh, 
I'm gonna give them a fresh piece. But this is not for you, sorry. We have a caterpillar and a chrysalis under the paper towel here. Oh no. <laughs> they seem to like snakes under there. You sneaky little buggers. Guys, enjoy. Day seven, maybe eight. Uh, update. <laughs> so, uh, just about everybody is in a chrysalis except for there's one guy on the broccoli and this one guy up here, but I think he's headed up to join the chrysalis crew. Uh, yeah, that's that's the only caterpillar. I see in here other than him and and he's en route to Chrysalisville. I tried <clears throat> propping up the camera and filming their chrysalis transformation and I just got 45 minutes of it looking like a caterpillar and then I checked back like 20 minutes later and it was a chrysalis so sorry but I don't think it's anything super extravagant and they go from this see how he's like bumpy and jagged so this guy's forming into a chrysalis it's very weird to this like a green chrysalis and then finally they turn brown A total of 21 chrysalis, chrysalides, chrys chrysalides right now. So, so we have, there's 24 total? No, 23. Yeah, there's 21 chrysalides, one transforming, and one on the broccoli. So, that I can see. Wow. Okay, so that's a lot. So yeah, any day now, we should have our first... Our first friend emerge. Okay, so I just woke up and I was like, yeah, let me, let me go check on our friends. Kind of had a feeling and yeah. Here we've got our little cabbage white guy. And there's this chrysalis that he came out of. I read that they're like green for a little bit at first because of their food source, broccoli. But I'm gonna let this guy continue to dry for a little bit um, and see if he turns white or if that, that might be something that happens after they fly around in the sun. I don't know. Um, so yeah, it was really exciting. Let him hang out and continue drying for a little bit. Hopefully maybe by then someone else will come out and join him. But yeah, that's really exciting. Okay, so in the time that it took me to go let the chickens and goats out, we've got another friend. Hey buddy, what's up? But there is one very startling discovery that, uh, that I've just made. Um, I just noticed there's three of, the, of these little weird bugs in here. And why is that open? Why does it look like, like that one's closed, but why am I getting the feeling that that came out of there? And I don't like how close it is next to that chrysalis, so. I'm gonna try and get those out of there because I don't, I don't like that, I don't like that at all. See, there's two more right here. I don't, oh, I don't like that, I don't like that. I caught one, I shooed one out the door. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't know where the other one is. But look at these guys. How cute. And there's our empty chrysalides. I have a feeling if I wait another 20 minutes and uh, let these guys continue to hang out that we will probably have a third joining us. So... That one, that one's looking pretty dark. So it's been like an hour, I took a shower, um, and no one else has emerged from their chrysalis. 
So I think I'm going to take these two guys out and let them out uh, on us in flowers. I can't say it enough times how many comments I get about keeping butterflies, but you, you cannot keep butterflies. They are not pets, they are just, um, they are refugees that you take in, okay? So I've never handled a cabbage white before, so I don't know how, I don't know how uh, quickly they move or, or how, f how much they're gonna wanna hang out with me, so let's see. Okay, so with these guys, you gotta go with like a cupping method. <laughs> this is insane, I just had to chase them for like 10 minutes. Now, where'd the other guy go? Um, uh oh. It's a little uh, game of I spy. Does anybody see him? Because cause I don't. Oh, I wonder if it got out through the screen. There is a rip in my screen, so it's possible that it got out. Okie dokie. Well. Can I go on my face? Nope, I didn't think so. Okay. Come here. Oh my gosh. I know it's windy. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh gosh. Come here. There we go. Okay. Okay. Well, we're just going to go right outside with you. Don't know where your friend went. Nope. Okay, great. Okay, so we found the other one. Where did, oh, okay. It's right there. And the other one's right there. So, now I gotta try and get him. <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. Alright, you got one. Okay. Okay, got the other one. The cupping method is what works for these guys. Pretty. Come on, babe. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna take these crazy guys out of our friggin' house. We're gonna try and bring them over to the garden. Don't know that they're gonna hang out with me that long. Let's, let's try and bring them over to the garden. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, where did, uh, okay, bye. I was trying to take pictures and and neither of them wanted to to hang out. Okay, well, yeah, it's super sunny out, so they they wanted that sun. Well, that was the first two. Twenty more to go. Because it looks like all the caterpillars are out, I can probably take this stinky stinky broccoli out. Okie dokie. Now everyone just has to come out. Another day. Another two butterflies. You look like you are ready to go though. Great, great. I'm just gonna open the window. What the heck are you doing? Why are you, why, why, why? Come here, little buddy. Okay. Whenever you want to go out there, the window's open. I'm trying to help you. Bye. 
then a few hours after, I actually caught this guy just after he had come out of his chrysalis. And as you can see, his wings are still all crumpled up. So yeah, I thought that was cool. Also, just noticing that um, now that they're all in chrysalises, none of the other caterpillars made those little pod things. Like, just those, those few that were in question did. So, like, what, what was that? <laughs> what, what was that? I don't know how many more of these I'm going to film and put in this video because this video is already getting long. Um... Okay, so that's gross. I just tried to grab the butterfly, and I guess their wings drip. It looks like almost blood, but it's orange. Ew, okay. Um, I'm gonna try and get this guy out of here. Wow, these butterflies are not social. Oh. So yeah, I don't know how many more of the releases of these guys I'm gonna show or put in this video, but cute. I kind of want to try and put him on my face, but I don't want that orange stuff on my face. So, what do you think, buddy? You gonna fly away? Oh my gosh! Mm! He's so little! Gosh, I finally got one on my face. Oh, oh. Like my eyebrow? Oh. It's not a flower, I'm sorry. Now, if it'll stay on my head, I'm gonna go try and show this to my dad. How cool was that? That's my phone. There you got plenty of pictures. <laughs> All around, man. Oh, is the butterfly gone? Oh, when, when did the butterfly leave? I didn't even notice. I didn't. It must have just left when the hair hit it. Mm. On the ground, oh, it's on your shirt. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is the first one to stick around and it's really sticking around. All the other ones wouldn't even let me pick them up. It's a yellow one, huh? They all come out yellow. I think it's because the broccoli that they eat. <laughs> and then they turn white. You want it? <laughs> okay, well, well, I don't think I'm going to get a release ending clip of this video any better so thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> if you want to see more butterfly videos stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video <laughs>